Before learning any language, learn data structures. Oh, 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 I know your question there. You might be thinking, what is data structures and why it is so important? Let's find out. Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's get started. We are living in an information age. Now what does that mean? It simply means that everything around you, it's all about information. The IT industry which you are working with, it's IT which is information technology, right? So what they need is information. But we have to store that data somewhere, right? And that's important, the word data. How can we store that data? Because after, that, after processing that data, you will get information, right? But how will you store that data? Now data can be of different type, right? It can be a normal data, it can be a complex data. So it's all about how to store it. Now why storing is so important? We can simply fetch data and put it somewhere, right? Take a file, put your data there. No, it's not that simple. It's not just about storing data. It's also about how can you fetch that data in an efficient way? How can you process that data in an efficient way? So with that data, you will do lots of things. So you have to build a solution in such a way, or if you have to store your data in such a way that it will be easier for you to fetch it, to process it, and to, you know, again, store it somewhere. And that's why we have this concept of data structures. So before learning a language, if you understand what is data structures, it will be easier for you to understand how that language works, right? In fact, if you have learned any program language before, maybe C or Python or Java, in that we use certain things called as arrays, we use list. So to understand those concepts, data structure is very important. So data structure is all about how can you structure your data so that you can store it and use it efficiently. Again, there are certain algorithms you can, you can implement on that. Uh, if you heard about this concept of searching techniques, we have sorting techniques. So we can apply all those techniques only when your data is properly structured. Now, how do we store that data? So what we have a concept called as abstract data type, which simply means you can store your data in such a way that it will be easier for you to, to work in future. Example, we have a concept of list. So if you want to save data in sequential format, we can actually use list. Uh, we also have a concept of stack. Uh, so let's say if you want to store everything in a sequence format, we can go for list. Maybe you want to, uh, you know, when you say Windows tab or all tab in Windows or in any, any OS, it will show the recent applications, right? Now, if you remember, the first app it shows you is the last which you have accessed, which means last in, first out. So at that point, we use stack. Uh, some, Sometimes we have to track each and every node, so we, we simply use uh, link list or other, other concepts. Uh, and uh, one more thing, the least concept which you're talking about, that's an abstract concept, because every language have a different way of implementing it. And the actual implementation, like link list, we have at least in Java, we have those two things. So data structure is all about store, how, how do you store your data. Now, question arises, why it is so important now? I mean, of course, it was important before as well, but nowadays we have this boom of data structures, right? Everyone wants you to know data structures. In fact, if you go for the job interviews as well, so initially they used to ask about programming language, they used to ask about mathematical uh, things. Now they talk about data structures. They will ask you a question based on data structures. I'm talking about all big companies, doesn't matter Google, Facebook, uh, Oracle, they will start asking you a question on, on data structures. But why, why now? It's because the world is changing. Yeah, thanks to this concept of big data, yeah, every company they have huge amount of data with them. How do you process them? How do you store them? So they, we have different frameworks like Hadoop, Spark to process that data. And the base of all those things is data structures. If you understand data structures, it, it will be easier for you to understand the uh, big, data, big, big data frameworks. Thanks to AI, you know, machine learning. How will you implement AI if you don't have data? And to store that data, we need data structures, right? So the base for everything is data structures. So it's important for you now to understand data structures if you want to get into big companies. And plus, there's one more thing here. Uh, you know, your learning data structure will be helpful for you when you start learning different languages because every language have their own way of implementing it, maybe Python or C or Java. So they have some inbuilt uh, things. You can use it only when you know how that works. So that's how you should learn data structures and data structures is all about storing data and using it efficiently. Right. So in the coming upcoming series, we'll talk about how do we implement data, stru data structures and what are the algorithms available so that you can implement it. I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comment section if you liked it and click on the like button if you really enjoyed it. And do subscribe for further videos. Thank you so much for watching.